Hi, everyone. It's Jacqueline. Before we get to the episode, I wanted to take a moment and join with other indie podcasters to address the June 24th Supreme Court decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. This decision strips away the legal right to have a safe and legal abortion. For me, creating It Makes a Sound has been a way to honor the caregivers that I've known in my life and to honor the spirit of caregiving that I believe is alive inside of all of us. Restricting access to comprehensive reproductive care, including abortion, threatens the health and independence of all Americans. This decision could also lead to the loss of other rights. To learn more about what you can do to help, go to podvoices.help. I encourage you to speak up, to take care, and to spread the word. When a tree falls in a forest and no one's around to hear it, it makes a sound. Where trolls walk in the clear People you've been missing are all there Um, Hiding in the land of midnight sun I can see something on the horizon Scandinavia I'll be brave for ya Scandinavia Saved from all the dull and endless days Sun don't wanna shine here anyway Scandinavia 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 I am Wim Pharos. That's what their sign said. I am Wim Pharos. It's a mad, mad world, Grandma. Where do you go for a little peace? If you can't even find it in a nursing home. That was... That was a lot, you know? I thought I was gonna... But I didn't. I don't know. It's one thing to be near people... But it's another thing to be, like, with people, you know? I just want to feel, like, peace for a while after everything. Do you feel that way? Is it kind of nice to be silent? You and me will go to Scandinavia. Sound good? 
I think we'd both like it. Yeah? You don't have to speak there. Neither of us. Well, just one word. But you can do it. You and I will go, we know the word. All our thoughts unsaid can now be heard. Scandinavia, Scandinavia, Scandinavia. Hi, Cody. That sounded good. We're just, um, hanging out in here, the two of us. Wanna come in? Yeah. Hi, Phil's grandma. You can call her Nancy. Hi, Nancy. I'm in really big trouble. Why? I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, that's cool. Deirdre is gonna kill me. Whoa. And I'm gonna kill Tommy Niehart. <laughs> it's really complicated. Uh, okay. R really complicated. Uh, I get it. You don't have to talk about it. It's really, really complicated. Hmm. Well... But I, I shouldn't talk about it. Okay. Uh, I'm so dead! Uh, you wanna, um... <sighs> you can talk to Nancy, if you want. I, I tell her stuff. Well, everything, really. <laughs> she listens. She doesn't judge. You tell her bad things? Yeah. Uh, she knows all the bad things. You do bad things? Sure. Well... I'll take a hike. No! Stay. You, you can stay. Nah. You, c you can stay. That's alright. I'll, I'll let you be alone. Can you stay? Uh... Okay. Uh, okay. I'm gonna look at Nancy, though, when I say it. Okay. I'm not gonna look at you. That's cool. Maybe don't look at me. I'll, um, uh, play my guitar. Over here. Yeah. That's good. Good idea. Okay. Nancy, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, boy. Nancy, okay, um, it's my fault there's people at the window saying they're Wimpharos. Even though they can't all be Wimpharos because there was just one Wimpharos, but maybe one of them is Wimpharos. That would be awesome, but I, I didn't mean for it to happen. And, and it's all because of this YouTube video. I showed it to Phil. It, it's of me and Deirdre and Emma and my friend Rod, who's gone now. We're in the clubhouse and we're singing Ghost Deer and all this stuff happened and Tommy Nehart snuck in there and he took a video of us and it went viral. That means it was really popular and I was proud of it, but it was kind of like a one-time thing because Deirdre had to get out of jail and Emma came to the nursing home and Rod moved away and then Deirdre was like embarrassed and she didn't want to talk about it and she said she was moving on and she doesn't want to think about Wim Pharos anymore, but um. Tommy, okay, so, so Tommy, so my friend Tommy is obsessed with the video. He says it's because of him that it went viral and that people still sometimes on the internet hashtag remember Wim Pharos. And people do still do the hashtag and Tommy's got a really big head about it. He, he made t-shirts that say remember Wim Pharos and he started selling them online. He went to coding camp and business camp. We, we learned the word exploitative in class, and I was like, that's what you are, Tommy. And he was like, I am not. And then he was like, I'm not making enough money off them anyway. So whatever, he stopped. But anyway, um, 
So me and Deirdre and Rod made this playlist of songs with Emma as a gift to her before she moved in here. We recorded it together in the attic. It, it was so that she could hear the songs whenever she wanted and remember the music and sing along and be happy. But Tommy found out about it because I accidentally told him. And Tommy was like, I have to hear the songs. I have to hear the songs. You're such a great drummer, Cody. I got to hear when Pharaoh's the band. And he went on for ever so i sent him the playlist but then tommy he just like right away copied the songs into the youtube comments and he put all the songs out for download and said that it was our new album called wim pharaohs the attic tape i freaked out when i saw that and i was like delete it delete it but it was too late because people had already shared it and it's just like out there now like in the world. So I freaked out. I was like, you're so exploitative, Tommy. Deirdre is gonna be so mad. Those are Mrs. Gardner's songs. We made them for her as a private gift. And then he was like, Cody, the people need the music. They need to unpack their attic and get goosebumps. And I was like, wait, what did you say? And then he started saying other things that sounded a lot like Deirdre. And I was like, oh no, because Tommy, he, um, he also found the podcast. Deirdre's show that she made that no one listened to back then. Like, I don't think one person listened to it. Well, he, he got people to listen. He posted them all online everywhere, like all of it leading up to his video in the clubhouse. And so now people have listened. They, they know about It Makes a Sound. They know Deirdre and I guess they found her. They found Rosemary Hills and they're here and it's my fault. It's my fault, Nancy. Deirdre's gonna hate me. Mm. Uh. Well, well, it sounds like it's that Tommy guy. He gets away with everything because he's tech savvy and fast and super short. Right. Those people, they're, st- they're still out there. I snuck past them. Can you tell your parents? It's, it's just my mom. My dad's never coming back word uh tell your mom no she wouldn't get it right she doesn't get what we did for wimp pharaohs deirdre and me oh hi guys hello nancy darling ready for bedtime i came to see if she was asleep we've been talking with her that's nice lucky nancy (laughs) boys Have you seen Deirdre? No. Okay. Cody, something happened that you should know about. Emma had a stroke. Oh. Do you know what that means? Like how Nancy is? Yeah. Um, Well, similar. A A stroke is a brain attack? Emma is like Nancy? Well, we'll see how she does. Strokes can have lots of different effects. A lot of times the stroke stops one side of the body, so it might be hard for her to use her arm or her leg or her speech. It might be hard to talk. So when you see her again, she might be a little different to you, Cody. Can she sing? I don't know. Oh. Oh. Deirdre's here now, Cody. She came back to get some things for her mom. She's in Emma's room. Why don't you go see her? I think she could use a friend. She won't want to see me. Oh, I bet she would. No, I'm not a good friend. I'm not a good friend. What do you mean? I'm a bad friend. No, you're not. 
Oh no, Cody, that's not true. <laughs> I see what a friend you are to Deirdre and to Emma. You keep them company. That's a lot. I've worked in nursing homes a long time. It's not easy for most people to keep good company. It's not easy for people to come visit. So they don't. But you come visit Emma and Deirdre all the time. I like it. I can see that you do. You know why? It's because you're a caretaker, a natural caretaker. You've got it in you. You're good at helping. No, I'm not. Trust me, I know. I'm a professional. I'm not helping, Deirdre. I'm just making everything worse. Nope. You don't know. There's, there's stuff that I haven't told her. Well, you know, tell her. Trust yourself that you'll be able to figure it all out, that it will be okay. Right, Phil? Uh, yeah. You two are good guys. We got good eggs here, huh, Nancy? Some nice, talented kids. <laughs> you guys want some sugar-free candy? Yeah, okay. I always keep some in my pocket for residents. No, thanks. Here, take some. Put it in your pocket for something sweet later. But I thought it's sugar-free. It's still pretty sweet. It tastes like chemicals. I kind of like it. I'll take those. All right. I'm off now. Good night, Nancy. Cody, can I take you over to Emma's room to see Deirdre? She'll probably be heading back to the hospital in a few minutes. No. Okay. Maybe Phil can take you there? Um... Yeah. Yeah. I can take him there. Good, Phil. Okie dokie. Good night, you two. Yeah, I, I think you should, uh, tell her. You do? Yeah. I'll back you up. You would? Sure. <sighs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, I have to tell her. Deirdre said no matter what, I have to tell the truth. So, yeah. Yes. But she's gonna kill me. I am dead meat. But, okay. Let's go. Let's do this! Cody? Whoa. They said you were still here. I came to find you. He was just coming to find you. Deirdre, Cody, I'm sorry. My mom had a stroke, so I, she's I not very well. You do? Yeah. Okay. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. I'm going back to the hospital. Um, do you need a ride home? I could, uh, I can take you. I, I have my bike. Deirdre, I have to tell you something. We'll talk later, okay? It's my fault there's people at the window, Deirdre. I think... Um, I think you might be famous. What do you mean? On accident, I think I made you famous. It's not really his fault. That Tommy Neihart guy is, like, all up in your business. Tommy? What are... Cody, I just can't do this right now. Deirdre, people know... I gave Emma's playlist to Tommy. He's been promoting the band, and and they've heard it makes a sound. How? Tommy, the internet, viral. He sounds like a real hustler. Those people out there, they've come for Wim Ferros. They've, they've come to see you. Well, they have to go. But, but did you see their signs? Cody, I cannot play around in this right now. But some of them say, I am Wim Ferros. Well, they really need to go home then. But what if they are? What if what if one of them is Wim Ferros? They're not. Would you recognize him? Don't you want to see him again? What if what if Wim Ferros is here? He's not. But what if he is? There is no Wim Ferros, Cody. What? I made him up. What? It was just a kid named Tim Ferris in a cul-de-sac. A regular kid like you. But there's no such thing as Wim Ferros. Do you understand? So whoever they are, they have to go. There's nothing here. 
But something's happening, Deirdre. They- I'm sorry, Cody, but there is no Wim Pharos, and my mom is sick, and I'm sad. And that's the true story. That's all there is. I have to go now. Get him home, Phil. I just... I have to go. Come on. I have my bike. We can walk it. There is no Wim Pharos. Yeah. I heard. I don't know how to fix it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We'll go out the back way so they won't see you. Uh, wait, I'm just gonna grab my guitar. Good night, Graham. Scandinavia. A regular kid like me. Uh, yeah, I don't know about that. You don't seem regular at all to me. Yeah? You're welcome. Let's go. This way. Here, have my sugar-free candy. Okay. Whoa. I don't like it. Wait. I, I, I kind of like it. I, I like it. Hmm. How does it taste sweet if there's no sugar? Yeah. I I don't know. It's a convincing imitation. It Makes a Sound is written, directed, and produced by Jacqueline Landgraf. Sound designed and engineered by me, Vincent Cachione. Production assistance and dialogue editing by Felicia Dominguez. Story consultant and Rosemary Hill's resident confectioner is Anya Saffer. Scandinavia was composed by Vin Cachione with lyrics by Vin and Jacqueline. Our credits music is by Nate Wida with Wesley Zurich as Phil. Melissa Mahoney as Cody Elwood, Rebecca Delgado-Smith as Renata Lucio, and Jacqueline Landgraf as Deirdre Gardner. For transcripts, merch, and more, go to itmakesasound.com. A special thanks to Liam Everett, Jason Mayland, Drew Poinsett, and all of our supporters on Patreon. Thank you for listening. We're so glad you're here with us. And we have a little call to action. We haven't had many new reviews since we released season two, and we'd love to get the energy flowing over there on the big apple of the internet. If you're enjoying this new chapter of our story, please take a moment to rate and review the show on Apple Podcasts. On behalf of our friends in Rosemary Hills, take care, be a helper, thank the helpers, and a little advice. Remember to stay on the good side of the short kids at Coding Camp. And remember Wim Pharos.